Castle Coombe Race Circuit in Wiltshire has a reputation for being just a wee bit too fast and scary for its own good. But in truth, it's one of the most challenging, most enjoyable circuits to drive on in the whole of the UK. Here's a bit about the circuit and stick with it to learn how to drive a nice and tidy and hopefully pretty quick lap of the track from behind the wheel of an Aerial Atom 3.5R in the pouring rain. I love Castle Coombe for all sorts of reasons. I remember sitting in this very paddock back in the day in a TVR Tuscan that I used to race for my sins and there was always a sense of kind of heightened nerves and excitement about going down out of the pit lane because it's a great track it really is being no doubt but you do have to take a slightly deep breath as you enter this little kink and go out onto the track for real because it has a reputation for being kind of scary and very fast it is very quick but it's it's not that scary it's it's a really challenging track you go you go fast in any car but to go really fast, there are certain bits of it that you need to master and they're not necessarily the bits of the track that you think, oh, I've got to get that right, otherwise I'm not going to go quickly. The bits to get right are the chicanes. As it is on every track, you lose most time on a circuit in the slow bits, not in the quick bits. It's always a grippy track in the wet castle, Coombe. A lot grippier than quite a few other tracks. Don't know why that is, obviously it's an awful lot of it's to do with the surface. This is an interesting corner tower. You'd think that you wanted to do a traditional stay right out wide and turn in late, but it's not actually. You want to turn in quite early and hug the apex all the way around tower. And we come out of the Bobby chicane into camp corner, which is the start finish straight corner crucial corner to get right for all sorts of reasons. Again, you want to you want to really try and nail the apex there. You need to carry as much speed as you can into that apex and then through it. This kink through here, maybe not on a day like this, but it's always flat. I don't care what you're in, that kink is flat in the dry. So, you come up to Quarry for the first time in anger and you want to be right over to the left. A lot of people the kind of traditional line is to stay out there left and there, but I quite like staying in tight because it's all about the exit here and you want to get on the gas as soon as possible. So into the first chicane, late on the brakes but not heroically late because this right here, the second part of the first chicane is the key bit. And again, you want to keep your momentum up as high as possible to come out onto the back straight here and then down towards tower. You can lose a lot of time coming out of there because you it's all about traction and being neat. And so then down into tower itself, turn it a little bit earlier than you think and stay tight, stay tight and then really nail it on the way up to the Bobby chicane. This is all about being neat and tidy through here. Very easy to get sideways on the way out on a day like this because there's not much traction. And again, stay over to the right hug the right and then I like braking slightly down the middle of the road rather than right out to the outside because it's a bit more bumpy there and again just really nail the apex of the last corner at, at camp and then just bang on it down to the kink and basically that is a lap of Castle Coombe in the absolutely soaking rain in an Atom 3.5R it's, uh, it's slightly terrifying today, but not, but not normally. Castle Coombe is a lovely fluid circuit that once you get into the rhythm of it, everything just flows towards you. I actually think it might be my favourite circuit in the whole of the UK.